in my mind, I'm like, I hope these guys aren't getting out to try to get me or something. And the man claiming self-defense in a homicide trial takes the stand today. We begin with that breaking news tonight at 5. The defense resting its case in the Theodore Edgecombe homicide trial as Edgecombe took the stand in his own defense today. That testimony wrapping up just late this afternoon. Bill Miston has been at the courthouse for the sixth day of the trial. Bill, what did we learn today? Well, Ted and Mary, Edgecombe's defense has characterized the September 2020 shooting of Milwaukee attorney Jason Clearman as a matter of self-defense. Today on the stand, Edgecombe saying he feared for his life, but both on direct and cross-examination by the state, Edgecombe never made that argument, saying that the gun that he used to shoot Clearman in the head with just went off, contradicting that self-defense argument. Prosecution pointing to that, as well as the fact that Edgecombe fled the state and wasn't arrested until nearly six months later, pointing to that, is consciousness of guilt. I was infuriated. Um, I can't lie. The jury listening intently is Theodore Edgecombe taking the stand Tuesday morning, recalling the events on Brady Street in September 2020. Damn, you can't drive. Get out of the road. Edgecombe peddled after the Clearmans, admitting to punching Jason Clearman in the face after Edgecombe said he used another racial slur. Clearman's wife, who was driving, sat still, staring straight ahead as her family shook their heads as Edgecombe recalled his version of the events. Clearman's wife testified last week her husband never said a racial slur. Edgecombe rode off but said he got scared, thinking the Clearmans were trying to hit him as they turned after him on North Holton. I knew I was going to be killed. Edgecombe says he told Clearman to stop as he approached him at the stairwell and had a gun at his waist, a gun he was not allowed to possess. When he did take that large step towards me, um... I, it, was, it was just a reaction, and the gun just went off. Do you feel like you were defending yourself at this moment? Yes. Edgecombe says he ran because he was scared of not being believed, admitted to illegally carrying a firearm, fleeing the state to seek out relatives he never spoke to, changed his appearance, never got a lawyer, and never turned himself in. But the reason you went on to the run into other states was because you were waiting to see if you could get legal representation. Isn't that correct? and to also seek funds to help with um, my defense. On cross, Edgecombe saying he didn't know his two attorneys for two open criminal cases were criminal attorneys, opening the door for the state to discuss the open cases and missed court dates at the time of the shooting. Answer the questions that are put to you. Several times, Edgecombe failed to answer questions from the state. He was arrested in Kentucky, gave a fake name, and admitted to feigning ignorance when Milwaukee detectives showed up to question him about what happened in Milwaukee. Now, Edgecombe was originally charged with bail jumping. He pled guilty to that before the jury trial beginning. The remaining charge is first-degree intentional homicide. If the jury does not convict on that charge, the state offering lesser charges of second-degree intentional homicide and first- and second-degree reckless homicide. Edgecombe said multiple times the gun just went off and never said the shooting was in self-defense. And as such, the state sought for the self-defense instructions for the jury to be taken off the table. Judge David Dabrowski saying he's inclined to leaving those in as well as the rest of the instructions as the state uh, wrote for the court. Those will be finalized tomorrow morning with closing arguments to follow. Reporting live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. And you'll be there to bring him to us for us. Bill, thanks very much.